Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to do this problem. How would you do it? Maybe rearrange Formula 1 and substitute into Formula 2? Could be a bit messy. Well, actually, there's a really good trick in doing this one. Okay, let's call this Formula 1 and this Formula 2. I'm now going to take Formula 1 and I'm going to take the square root of the x term and then square it. So no overall effect. Less, and I'm going to do the same here. So I'm going to take the y term, take the square root and square it. No overall effect. This then still equals 51. Now, why have I done that? Well, if you look closely at these two terms now, you've actually got the difference of two squares. And if you're not familiar with why that's important, I'll show you. If we have a number plus a number, and we multiply that by the same two numbers, but with a negative sign, is what happens when we multiply this out is we get a squared and then the BA and the AB cancel, and we were just left with minus B squared. So we're left with the difference between two squares. This means that if we wanted to, we could rewrite a difference of two squares like this. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So this becomes root x plus root y in brackets multiplied by root x minus root y in brackets still equals 51. Now if you look up here at rule number 2 you'll see that we already know what root x plus root y is. It's 17. So we can replace this here with 17 we still got our root x minus root y here, and this still equals 51. Now, if we divide both sides by 17, we end up with root x minus root y equals 3. And that is our revised first formula. Our second formula is that root x plus root y equals 17. Therefore, if we add these two equations, the root y's will disappear. So root x plus root x is 2 root x. The y's disappear. And this becomes 20. That means that root x is 10. And squaring, we get that x equals 100. Then, if we substitute this into equation number 1 up here, we get 100 minus y equals 51. Therefore, y equals 100 minus 51, which is 49. And these are our answers. x equals 100, y equals 49. Did you get it? 